is accused of murdering a friend of his ex-girlfriend, Carl Cunningham, after allegedly going to her Warwick home in a jealous rage to confront someone else. Today, the jury heard from several more witnesses, including the half-brother of the accused, who changed his tune on the stand. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan joins us live from Kent County Superior Court with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, that's right. We've been inside the courtroom from the very moment this trial started. And I can tell you, and if you've been watching our coverage, it's been very emotional the last few days as witnesses were taking to the stand describing the shooting. Today was a little bit of an emotional break for the family. It was more about the uh, forensics in this case and the evidence. A whole host of Warwick detectives took to the stand on Tuesday, each describing how and when Tony Gonzalez was taken into custody. They were again asking him where the gun was, uh, and he stated, it's not here. The detective was referring to a gun Gonzalez was known to carry with him. Earlier testimony from Trish DeLumba indicates he may have even slept with it under his pillow. But the only evidence shown in court on Tuesday was an empty gun case. The gun used in Carl Cunningham's murder has also never been found. Detectives also revealed that though there was some evidence of gun residue on the defendant's hands, the test was inconclusive. The black flecks are indicative of a positive result for gunshot residue, but there were a few of them that were a lot and there were also brown flecks which I, I wasn't uh, aware how to interpret that so I deemed the test inconclusive at the time. Gonzalez has told police that he was at home at the time of that shooting. We also heard from the defendant's stepbrother Juan Garcia who was with Gonzalez in the hours leading up to the murder though he seemed to forget the details surrounding their conversation. You know, obviously a highly emotional case for the family of Carl Cunningham. They have been in the courtroom every day listening to this testimony. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we will talk to Carl Cunningham's father and get his take on how they're all holding up throughout this trial. We're live in work with the Mobile Newsroom. Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.